Hi, and welcome to another episode of the How to Do Stuff with Experito video series. My name is Owen, and in this video I will show you how to loop over a subgrid or an iterating element in your dataset. Now to demonstrate that, I created a template which is linked to Microsoft Dynamics CRM dataset. Um, here are the fields, and as you can see, this is a quote dataset. It starts with quote. It has data relevant to a price quotation, and one of the elements here is quote details, which contains quote detail, and this is an iterating item that contains the line items of the quote. Now that's what we're going to do. We're going to build a table that uses the quote details, loops over the quote details to build a table with the different line items of the quote. So to do that, I start with creating a table and let's just do that like you would do that with any other table in Word. So just uh, create a table and I'm going to create a table with two rows, three columns and two rows. The first row I'm going to use to add headers to my table. And in the second row, I'm going to map relevant fields. The relevant fields here would be the product name. That should be here somewhere, product name. That's underneath existing products. I'm going to product and then the product name. Here it is. The quantity. Quantity. There we are. And then finally, the total, which is the amount here. Okay, so just map that. Um, and then to create that loop, what we need to do is select the area in the canvas here that we want to loop over, that we want to repeat. So that would be this table row. Now make sure that you have this extra item here at the back. So we, we select this table row. And then the only thing that we still need to do is click the item that we want to loop over, which is quote detail in this case, and then click the loop icon. So if I run that through a preview, we have created the loop. So there you are, we have now created a loop. So what we can do now at this point is work on the layout of the different items in that loop. So quantity, for instance, that's well, that's, an, that's a quantity, that's a number. So we can, uh, if we go to the mapping here, as you can see, this is the loop icon and these are the different items in the loop. Okay, so we can format those items now. I double click quantity to open up the uh, mapping dialog um, and I will format that as a number, uh, not using any decimal places. Okay, so there you are. And then the base amount, that's a currency. So let's... Uh, uh, sorry, let's indicate that this is a currency, uh, English, US, okay, two decimal places is okay there, let's use a thousand separator, use the dollar symbol in front, uh, or we could also put it at the back, but let's keep it in front here and say okay to that, run it through the preview again, and there you are neatly formatted now, this is the loop that we wanted to create, okay? Now you can also adjust the settings of your loop. To do that, you select the loop and go to the settings through this settings icon or just double click the loop here in the uh, mapping tab. And as you can see, you can choose to remove the last paragraph of each iteration. We don't need to do that here. Uh, but you could loop in reverse order. You can only iterate over the first whatever number of occurrences if you want to. Um, you could um, loop of the last whatever number of occurrences and you can also enable sorting and you can sort on whatever field like for instance the amount and let's sort these from the most expensive product to the um, least expensive product and indicate that this is a number and so do it in a descending way okay case order we don't need that here that's uh, typically something that you would do for a uh, text where you take the, the case uh, into account or not, um, say okay to that. If we run that again through a preview, then we see that our loop is now ordered 
going from the most expensive product to the least expensive product. So that's it really, it's a very easy way to loop over items. Now as this is a word table, you can apply all the typical word styling to that table. So the table tools for design and layout that are available here can be applied to your table. So if you want to do it this way with the banded rows or with the banded, col banded columns, you can do that. Okay, so let's get rid maybe of this uh, bold control B this out. Okay, and run it again through a preview. Preview going through Experido and then hit preview again. You can see that you now have the banded rows. Now for quotes, what you would typically like to do is add some extra table rows here. For instance, for a discount or a grand total and so on and so forth or tax amount. So let, let's maybe just add a grand total. And we have a field in CRM that contains that value. Let's have a look. Here it is, total amount. Just double click it to edit. And for the formatting, just go to the mapping, total amount, and format it once again as a currency this way. Okay. So if we run it, run it again through a preview, what you'll see is this. You get your table with the grand total at the bottom. And obviously you can format that in bold or whatever. Okay, so we did a table now, but you don't have to add this at the table. You can have a loop over whatever, like for instance, a numbered list or a bullet list. To demonstrate that, I will add a numbered list here with all the product names that are in this quote. To go to the data source and map my product name. So underneath the existing products, add the product name. There it is. Now let's put this in a bullet list. Go to home, or sorry, a numbered list. And the only thing we need to do now is add the loop to it. So let's go to the repeating item in the data set and hit the loop icon. And once again, we can apply sorting if we want to. So maybe in this case, we'll sort them alphabetically by product name. Text, ascending, ignore case, and there you go. Let's run it through a preview. And there's the numbered list. So that's it. That's how you create loops using the Experto template designer add-in for Microsoft Word. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon again.